I Robinson welcome to our YouTube channel star science Robinson let's get into topic today we are going to see about a bony labyrinthine at the same time membranous labyrinthine about the inner ear firstly we see about a bony labyrinthine so bony labyrinthine it is a cavity within a temporal bone lined with periosteum so between bony and membranous labyrinthine so there will be perilymph is present whereas within membranous labyrinthine there will be endolymph or present the bony labyrinthine and membranous labyrinthine consist of three parts the bony labyrinthine consists of vestibule cochlea and semicircular canal this is a semicircular canal and now we are seeing it is a vestibule and in our diagram now we are seeing about the cochlea so the next it is a saccule which is near to the cochlea now we are seeing about the utricles which is near to the semicircular canal and now you are going to see detailly what is present in a semicircular canal at the same time in a so now we are seeing about the semicircular ducts in a three tiny tubes which is present in semicircular canal now diagram we can see the red color in semicircular canal it is a bony labyrinthine the white it is paralymph and in green color it is a membranous labyrinthine which has a endolymph now we are seeing in our diagram this particular portion it is a cochlea so next after cochlea we can see about a in our diagram that is bony labyrinthine so the outer part of our cochlea at the same time semicircular canal are made up of bony labyrinthine so inner part of our cochlea that is tympanic or scalar tympanic at center we can find a scalar media or cochlea duct and we can see about scalar vestibule or we can say that it is vestibule duct so the vestibule duct at the same time tympanic duct are made up of bony labyrinthine that is periosteum which has a perilymph so now we are seeing in our diagram this particular portion it is called as a posterior tube of semicircular canal and this is lateral tube of semicircular canal and this portion it is anterior or superior tube of semicircular canal so this all together which is called as a semicircular canal and inner it is called as a semicircular duct ampulla has a sensory epithelial air cells now we are seeing about the utricles balancing system respond to change in position of head saccule translate head movement into neural impulses which the brain can interpret the air cells will activate in a ampulla when the balancing of our head or a body so the air cells will activate for example if the sound is from the right then the air cell will bend to the left so the fluid from the semicircular canal will move to the other side that is opposite side of the semicircular posterior lateral and superior or anterior tube suppose the sound is from the left then the air cell will bend to the right side now you are seeing in our diagram about the vestibule and vestibular nerve at the same time cochlear nerve the vestibule is the middle part of the bony labyrinthine and it is located immediately medial to the tympanic cavity and it is connected to both parts that is semicircular canal at the same time cochlea the walls of the membrane labyrinthine are lined with the distributions of acoustic nerve also known as the vestibular cochlear nerve this is oval window and now we are seeing about the round window the vibration of sound from the middle ear will enter into the oval window to the cochlea and it will creation of receptor for hearing round window it will take all the pressure from the cochlea now we will see how the structure of the cochlea in cross section we'll see now in our diagram so now i am showing you bony labyrinthine in red color and now i am showing you in our diagram this particular portion it is called as a cochlea duct or it is called as a scala media in middle and we can see in our diagram that is scala tympan duct and we can see above it is vestibule duct the vestibule duct at the same time tympanic duct or perilymph and the scalar media or cochlear duct it is endolymph so this is about the bony labyrinthine and membranous labyrinthine now we are seeing in our diagram this is called as a superior canal and this posterior canal and horizontal canal so this is about the bony labyrinthine and membranous labyrinthine about the inner ear thank you friends for watching it's star science robinson thank you once again